Race is a very sensitive topic. You mm. can speak about race and get cancelled. Hi, my name is Journey Tamaya, also known as the Rich Auntie, and I have the lovely Daddy Sims, aka Simran Marali. Yeah, and now as you can see, Simran, some of you um, are already judging and trying to put her in a box of race and whatnot. Simran, tell us about your race. Like, what constitutes of your race? Okay, cool. Yeah? So, I am Kenyan, Ugandan, Indian, Arab. That's basically, uh, how do you guys like to say? You say Afro Asian Caribbean. Oh my God, you're everything. Afro Asian Caribbean. Yeah. That's what I am. Yeah. yeah. Now, well, that's new. You're the first. (laughs) I'm sorry. I've not heard of that before. You know, because when someone sees you, they'll they'll only think you're like Indian and whatnot. Mm. And you were actually born in. Born and raised in Uganda. She's more Ugandan than anyone. Yeah, that's true, guys. When her Ugandan accent comes out. You won't even hear me anymore. Now, uh, tell the people, tell the people about what it's like being Simran in Uganda. Cool. So, um, there's a lot of things that happen when you are a mixed race person. First of all, being mixed race, Janita, does not mean you're only light skin. You can be mixed race and dark Dark skin. skin, Mixed race means having a different, like different combinations of races, Mm. right? So. For me personally, uh, I'm on the lighter spectrum, as you mm. guys can see. And I don't know, you were calling it what? Pretty privilege? Ah, I, did I say anything? It? Pretty privilege. No, because, whether, you know, let's actually get serious. Whether you okay. like it or not, uh-huh. when people look at you and they see your skin tone and they see the type of hair you have, yeah. obviously, I feel like they, there's some discrimination that goes on. A lot. They, they treat you better. Mm. Am I right? There's, some people do treat me better. Some mm. people do treat me worse. There's, who who um, treats you worse at that, Simran? Oh, so, okay. So, you can be walking down the street, yeah? Mm-hmm. And people see you and obviously, you know, cat calling is a big thing oh, in uganda right Bebe, call me up, sister call me up. sister my Please. love darling you get me so um when you don't respond to this cat calling mm. i don't know why guys guys do not take rejection very well mm-hmm. and then they start like hating on you and they're like go back to your country muzungu what and you're like oh wow okay that's how it's going down mm. so yeah so that's what happens and yeah. um it's just not peak and then obviously like you said there Mm. is um a privileged part of it whereby you know you walk into a place and people are automatically like (gasps) yeah who is she clear up everything get it done this is that that get a glass of wine my day water and given that i work in media it's Mm. even worse because um with media everyone wants the light skin girl, girl mm. to be the face of literally everything mm-hmm. everything once a bad thing it's a very bad thing for me personally for mm. me because i don't like being appreciated based on looks mm. i actually think i'm a very smart person like you are a hard worker my head is beautifully smart and yes i am very hard working mm-hmm. you know i'm a content creator and mm. i come up with really good ideas mm. so when someone looks more at me than the work that I'm doing and they mm. say, oh, you have a following because you're pretty, mm. not because your content is actually good. It's offensive. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. how dare you? Yeah. I will slap you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's exactly what happens. Yeah. I don't know. what. How do you feel? Does this happen to you as a dark skinned person uh, in Uganda? To, to, uh, to be treated differently? Yeah. How not, how not no, really. you see yeah there's different classes mm-hmm. as well of, yeah. of dark skinned people in mm-hmm. Uganda mm-hmm. right so i would say you're around middle class upper class mm. i'm not so, a chocolate let's, let's not put like upper or lower let's just say like chocolate you know there's like light no, chocolate no 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 i'm not talking about skin tone i'm oh. talking about like like oh, in terms the of way, income yes income the way you associate yeah. yourself uh with me i no i feel like people not really Mm-hmm. Like maybe when I say well, if I enter a room, will everyone turn? Mm-hmm. Of course, I'll turn. Because I mean, cute. look at me. You're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> no, but on the serious note, but like I put in effort in my look. So when I'm stepping out, I make sure I'm stepping out as my best self. You know, mm-hmm. just because you met me at the at the supermarket in sweats, that's not who I am. <laughs> you yeah. know, on a normal day, I kind of look good. So maybe if I enter a room, maybe some people will turn and whatnot. But have I been treated differently because of what I look like? Yeah. No. No. Not really, no, not me. Mm-hmm. Not, it's not something I've experienced. Someone didn't treat me well because I look good, you know. Mm-hmm. Should, should I, can I, can I say something called body privilege? Maybe okay. some people yeah. have treated me well because of the way my body is shaped. Maybe mm-hmm. that, but that's not a very big thing. But to get back to the skin tone, I don't think anyone has given any special attention or any special 
anything to me mm-hmm. anyway but which is surprising because i have friends and the, my skin tone and whatnot mm-hmm. and you can see that the pretty privilege yeah. that's coming on but then you may find like most of my friends are also like from the west mm-hmm. i love you all you know yeah like i'm i i, I may have grown up in the west but like that's not my tribe and mm-hmm. whatnot but you can see that some people are from the west and they have maybe some mixed randy's blood in them and then you can see people starting to change how mm-hmm. they're treating that because whether we like it or not men somehow are attracted to exotic women yeah so maybe they see someone who's like ugandan and randy is more exotic than a real ugandan and mm-hmm. i also feel like do you feel like most men are, are attracted to you because they feel like you're exotic yeah you get for that? the most part i yeah. think so but you see being mixed race and light skin in mm-hmm. uganda it becomes really difficult um because i know there's so many women out there like me it's like you feel the need to prove oh. that you belong with these people do you understand yeah so i posted up on my instagram recently and you saw i said i hate my hair yeah right she has lovely hair by the way <laughs> when it's not looking like this <laughs> yes maybe yeah so i posted about how um i have you know mixed hair and yeah. um i don't really like my hair mm-hmm. i over I overly just braided. It's always braided for the most part. When mm-hmm. it's not braided, it's straightened. Like mm-hmm. right now, if it's mm-hmm. not straightened, I have a wig on. Yes, all you men out there who <laughs> behave. I don't know why the African Americans don't like the weaves, but listen, because guys, apparently we are getting westernized. It helps us control this hair. Okay, That's why, yeah. If you don't understand it, you don't even that when you want your hair to grow for a certain time. If I exactly. want to, my hair to like, if I want to, mm-hmm. no, no, what, no, no friction in my hair or yeah. something, I'll go wig wig full for like guys, two months stop with shaming women we have hair struggles that you guys do not understand mm-hmm. so just cut it out cut yeah. it out it's childish yeah so that's how i basically keep my hair most of the times mm. i don't like my natural hair mm. why because i feel like my texture is not african enough do you understand i feel like it's not Afri- if if my hair was maybe coilier or kinkier then mm. maybe i would wear it with pride but because i associate my hair to my race mm. and to my sense of belonging yeah i feel like it's not african enough like what? you can't look at me and think oh she's uh, yeah. african also you, you would you say you hide your hair because you want to like Simran, are you ashamed of your race honestly yeah sometimes well i i was for the longest time growing really? up yeah because when you try to tell someone hey um i'm ugandan mm. or i'm this they're like no no, they're no, like, no 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 you can't be i'm like why not mm. Because you're not black. And I'm mm. like, <laughs> I'm not. Like, I know because it hurts me that I'm not. You yeah. know, it, it's, it affects me that I'm not darker. I wish mm. I was darker. Really? Yes, I actually this do. This is new because most dark girls wish they had your skin tone and wish they had your hair. That's the thing. If yeah. I was darker, I feel, because I am not the kind of person that enjoys standing out like that per mm-hmm. se for the wrong reasons. Mm. So for me, it's painful because being mixed race, yes, many people would look at it as privilege mm-hmm. because yes you're light skin you're getting people to do stuff for you yeah and everything but then being in the actual position mm-hmm. yeah let me tell you when you are light skin or you are mixed race mm. on the lighter spectrum mm. your family members actually <gasps> hate you like Listen. they dislike you because they are Simran. darker and they feel like oh so you think you're pretty you think you, you get oh, wait, so much just to clarify family. you have some family because we see your sister fazana shout out to her yes shout I out to her. Fu. um she's dark my she's, sister's dark skin yeah. and then my younger sister is mm. darker than me but yeah. she's also um a little bit lighter than my older sister yeah but you, you, you say you get discrimination in the family right a lot a lot of discrimination of what yeah this is new it's a thing actually yeah. if you are a mixed race light-skinned person in uganda mm-hmm. let me tell you your family is going to hate you more than anyone else no. out there is going to hate you it's a fact because they are going to be like oh so she thinks she's better than all of us and this yeah. is not actually your mindset people try to inflict it onto you but it's not mm-hmm. your actual mindset yeah so that's what it's like and it makes you not want to be the skin tone you are it makes you wish you were darker it makes mm. you wish your hair was coilier kinkier it makes you have to stuff i know so many african languages so that i can prove 
that mm. I'm African. Yeah. You know, I am not built like you. I d- I'm not very curvy. Yeah. It makes you get eating disorders because now you're trying oh to become thick. Because at least if I was thicker, uh, if my body was looked more African, mm. I can pass off as African, African without having to explain my roots. Oh my God. Do you understand? That's, that's really that is bad. how it feels. Yeah. That's really, really bad. Um, would you say would you say you've gotten some opportunities because of your skin tone? Um I would say yes and no. Mm. Yes, because ideally when I walk into a room, it's the first thing people are gonna notice and they're gonna say, Oh yeah, she looks good for this. <gasps> but then mm. I have my talent and my hard work to backing back. me up. It yeah. makes me just walk into a room and want people mm. like make people want me to stay mm. because of what I'm bringing to the table. table. But can I also just say you are uh, when you get to a group of people, you want to interact with people. So I feel like they'll pay attention to you because like someone's like then I was like, Oh yeah, tell me about your hair. Oh, tell me about your nails. Tell me about this. And you're like, Yeah. You know, you get people to be comfortable to talk yeah. to you. So I guess that has also helped in you getting your opportunities and mm-hmm. you work hard i used to think i work hard but <laughs> <laughs> yeah this Shout right here to the hard work this right here there. she yes. works harder than me and yeah Simran. but tell us your last words to the people watching uh my last thing would say uh it would be um race is a very sensitive topic you mm. can speak about race and get cancelled um you can try to explain your point of view and people will call you colorist i get that a lot of the times yeah just because i'm trying to speak up about my personal insecurities and, yeah. and how i feel people will say oh yeah no you're colorist mm. but um what i would say is honestly man just love people mm-hmm. just be in love with loving people mm. and um Culture is a really big spectrum. Yeah. If, if you only know your culture, then you're not doing anything. Mm. Go out there, learn other people's culture. Culture, yeah, learn and, something. How yeah. many local languages do you know? That's a good question. So yeah. I speak Kiswahili. Mambo. A, poor. <laughs> a little bit of Africans. A little bit Africans. of... Africans. Africans. Which one is that? Uh, so Africans is mostly spoken by people in South Africa now. Oh, that one. But yeah. How did you get to it? So Kiswahili is um, a mixture of so many different languages. Okay, anyway, let, let's uh, okay. So yeah, we should know her. Luganda. Hello. Jabaleko. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, a little bit of Arabic as well. Now Arabic isn't really an African. Yeah. But Kiswahili is derived from yeah. Arabic. And you're well traveled too, by the way. Uh, she was yeah. hopping on planes when we're in class. Okay. <laughs> that's not true that's not true guys that's not true but no yeah. but like when you when you're a kid you traveled a lot more. i did i traveled a little bit uh, yeah. i would say that i have a lot of culture in me and mm. i try to know all my roots give mm. them as much attention as i possibly can yeah. And yeah, but I'm mostly African. And I love I that. Say that. Mostly oh. African. Africa is me, guys. I am you African. Are Africa. I am African. Prish, prish. <laughs> Thank you so much. I yeah. hope that people, you know, listen to something. Please don't go out of your way to go out there and hate in the comment section. Th- that's not nice, okay? That- that's not cute. Don't do that. Yeah. But do tell us what you think in the comment section and like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Let's give you a minute to subscribe because you need it. Yeah. Just subscribe. Go Just do subscribe. it. Subscribe. Go it's, do it. It's right there. Just subscribe, okay? Yep. And follow us on all our social media platforms. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.